In this video, we'll learn how to capture measurement data in SMART. The data bar on the left side of the screen shows stored measurements. The top folder is the session data folder. Captured measurements will be stored into this folder. You can enter the menu to create a new session data folder, or drag another folder to the top spot. This becomes the active session data folder. By default, these folders are stored inside the traces folder, which is found inside your Smart V8 folder in your computer's documents directory. But you can change that if you want. So let's capture a measurement. Pressing the space bar will capture the active measurement on the active plot. Smart suggests a name, but you can type something else if you like. Once we name it, we can see the measurement show up in the data bar. I can click to hide or show. And if we look in the graph plot, we can see that we're currently viewing both the live measurement and the saved measurement data. It's important to take an active approach to focus in SMART. For example, right now, the top plot has focus. So if I hit the space bar, the built-in mic measurement will be captured. If I want to capture the DSP out measurement, I click to give it focus, and then hit the space bar to capture. You can also click the Capture All button or use Shift Spacebar to capture all currently running measurements. Notice that this created a folder with the name I entered and filled it with a trace for each measurement that was running at the time, named and color coded to match the measurement instance. Right click on a trace and choose Info or select a trace and use the Info button at the bottom of the data bar to view info about the saved trace, including the date and time of capture and some information about how the measurement engine and the smart application were configured when the measurement was taken. If you're running the demo version of the software, you won't see the full set of parameters here. You can also edit the name, add a comment, change the color, change the DB offset, apply a weighting curve, set the plot for multi-plot views, and save a copy of the measurement data to another location or convert it to ASCII for processing another program. The data is always captured in the highest resolution so controls like banding and smoothing can be adjusted afterwards if you want to view the data in a different way. Lastly, remember that the data bar actually consists of two different data registers, one for spectrum data and one for transfer function data. SMART will automatically display the correct one depending on which type of plot currently has focus.